What's going on guys, it's Jetstream here and today I'm actually going to show you how to improve your FPS and how to make CSGO launch faster. So I was having a problem where CSGO was taking literally forever to launch. Like, I'm not even joking, it was, it, it took way too long, okay? So I figured out how to, you know, fix it out. I was messing around with settings and apparently there's these commands I heard about. And I wanted to share them with you guys. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your Steam library. So pretty much what that means is, you know, when you're trying to launch the game, instead of clicking you're, instead of clicking play to, you know, play the game, right click on the name. Yo, I'm really bad at explaining things, so I put it on screen right here for you. Um, you're welcome past me. Name of the game or the game itself, I don't really know. But right, I right clicked on the name of the game and went down to properties. And then I clicked set launch options, okay? And it says it's for advanced, but really this is what you need to do. And I'm probably going to put the commands on screen. I'm not, or they're going to be all in the description anyway. So pretty much the first one is going to be dash novid. And what this one does is it removes the little intro video at the beginning. So it'll say like valve and the guy will be pointing his gun and it'll be like the, the next one with the terrorist. It'll remove that. And then the next one, after Dash Novid, is, uh, it's optional, I guess, if you want to do this or not. It makes the game run better, and it looks more crisp, I guess. I'm not too keen on what it does, but I entered it, and it helps. Um, Dash Tick Rate, and 128, which is the max tick rate for the game. And then, after you enter max tick rate, go ahead and enter Dash High, which sets CSGO to high priority on your CPU. After you go ahead and do that, your this one is important. This one reduces lag and startup time by a mile. Dash threads and then the number of cores you have. And but this means pretty much on the specs of your PC, you're gonna have a certain core number of processors, right? I have a quad core processor. So for example, I would do dash threads four. And that's how, ma that's how many processors the game uses, essentially. It's defaulted to only one, so you're going to want to put that on the amount of processors you have, obviously. And also what you're going to want to do is put the command in plus FPS max underscore... Oh, shit, my bad. It'll be on screen anyway. Plus FPS underscore max zero. This will make the FPS run without limit. You will have the most FPS possible for you, you can get on CSGO. See how mine over here is this. That is, it, it usually wouldn't be that. It would, sometimes, I can't really see what the number is, but it would be lower than that. I know it's not, yeah, it would definitely be lower than that. In game, I was getting like 100 FPS, and I used to be getting 260, and I didn't know why, and I was having FPS drops. And apparently, this helps a lot. Another thing, this is an optional one, if you want to know what FPS you have while you have in-game, you don't have Overwolf, which is what I have right here, or any other FPS counter, um, you can simply enter plus CL underscore show FPS one, and these help, these next two commands will help with your internet speed. Plus CL underscore interp zero, and plus CL underscore interp underscore ratio one help with your internet a lot. And this, this next one is very important because this makes your game run as fast as possible. Plus rate, one, two, eight, and then three zeros. It will make the run, it will make the game run as fast as possible and it will not mess with your graphics settings. See, I have this one on because I wanted to use the game while I was betting and I didn't want it in full screen, so yeah. This, but as you can see, all of my settings are all still on the highest even after I did that. So that doesn't, this is, this is pretty much the game on max settings. So, it didn't mess with any of my video settings, but it made the game run faster. Just wanted to clarify that because some people might think, you know, it messes with your video settings, which it doesn't. It just makes the game run faster, which is awesome. 
and then the update rate which is i i believe for your monitor i'm not exactly sure but it does help um is plus cl underscore update rate 128 and then another one is a rate possible i'm not exactly sure what that means i think it has to do with the um either the millisecond rate speed in your ping or the millisecond to your monitor and this command is plus cl cmd rate 128 anyway i hope this video helped you if you were having the same problem i did uh hopefully this resolves it it did for me and it's just i can run my game a lot better now in other news i am currently saving money and doing jobs around my household so that i can release to you guys a case opening video i already have eight keys but i have about like 43 something cases 44 around there and i'm trying to get 100 bucks and i'm currently found a way to do that so um i don't think it'll take a month but um yeah probably this month expect a mass case opening all of these cases will be gone if i've done the math right all and you know how bad i am at math if I've done the math right, all of these cases should be gone from my inventory when that video goes up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. And I will see you guys in the next one. And if you want to enter those commands but you don't want to copy them and like look at the screen that I have, they're all in the description. All the ones, the, all the commands are in the description. And the full line of commands is at the top of the description. So that means if you want to enter all of them but you don't want to sit there and enter each individual one or copy and paste each individual one i have the entire line there but the only thing you're going to want to do is with the threads command um you're going to want to go to your launch options and of course the highlight um insert number of threads here delete that and then put the actual number of cores that your processor has or else that might fuck something up i don't know but Please do that. I don't want anybody not doing that and then come back at me because in the video I stated that. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to stop rambling on and yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get money to open all of these and get jack shit. But still, I want skins. I want to make some betting videos. But this, my recording software I'm using at the moment doesn't do monitor cap or something. So I will have to look for something that does do monitor cap if you guys have any suggestions for something that just you know captures my monitor so i can do like betting videos and doesn't have to be in a game um i'm all ears see you guys in the next one live and die a legend i'm jet stream and i'm out